Rick Splix coming at you with another theme park adventure, and we're starting right now. Okay guys, so we are at Islands of Adventure today. So what is the adventure we have planned? Well, I didn't come up with it, you guys did. Yep. So Christina wants to see the three new Jurassic World treats that they have over there in Jurassic Park area. I'm down for that. Yeah. And then Michael, through our uh, Google form, I've created a welcome letter, a welcome pack. And when you fill that out, there's a couple columns where you could you know, make a comment or request a video. Uh -huh. He requested that Nikki do Doctor Doom and water rides in the same day. You have a twisted sense of humor, Michael. Good job, Michael. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it though. <laughs> so I'm not trying to turn this into a method to torture Nikki. <laughs> it's turning into that way though. <laughs> but it may go that way. <laughs> I'm up for it though. You ask for it, Michael, I'll give it to you. All right, let's head over to Jurassic. Oh wait, no. Let's Dr. go to Doctor Doom first thing. We gotta go wake up. <laughs> so in the description or maybe I'll pin a comment too I'm going to leave the link to that Google form where you can request the welcome letter or the welcome pack from us okay <laughs> yeah not a torture device for Nikki <laughs> okay here we go phase one of fan requests Dr. Doom Okay, Nikki, you did it. Dr. Doom Fear Factor, first thing in the morning. Yes. Better than a cup of coffee. <laughs> a little, my heart was just beating. All right, so the deal with Dr. Doom, we can't take a camera or a GoPro, but what I do is I leave the camera on as I place it in the bin, hoping to have the right angle that we get the shot of the shoot up, right? Exactly. So we'll test the footage, see if we got it or not. Either way, it's a fun time. Phase one of the fan requests are done. The hard part. Well, I know the water rides might be hard for you too, Nikki. Yes. Okay, Nikki. As we're making our way over for our Jurassic Park cooking, we're walking by Ripshaw Falls. Now, the plan was to do the Jurassic Park River ride as a water ride. Okay. And then the barges. Oh, okay. Pluto's barges as a river ride. Right. What do you think about Ripshaw Falls? Honestly, if I'm already wet, I'll do all three. All right. Depending on the wait time. Yeah, sure. All right. Well, let's go get the cookie then. Yeah, absolutely. So the wait time for Kong today is only 10 minutes, but that's not our focus, right Nikki? No, I guess not. No, we rode Kong last time when we were here. Okay. So there's three snacks celebrating Jurassic World, two cookies and a cake. We can't do those all at once. <laughs> we'll do them in phases. We pace ourselves. We'll start with the big cookie, ride a ride, get the small cookie, and then when we have lunch, we'll have the cake, okay? Sounds like a plan. Is that a plan? That's a plan. Okay, so you can get the cookies at the Pizza Pretoria. Oh, cool. Yeah, and it's only for a limited time. I hope we're not too late. I mean, it is summer. We should still be able to have these Jurassic World treats, right? Yeah, let's go find out. I hope so, because otherwise this vlog is screwed. <laughs> well, guys, the pizza place is not open yet. We're too early. It's a lunch place. Yes, yeah, quick service lunch. Probably opens at 10.30 or 11. So, change of plans. Time to go ride that river ride, Nikki. Oh. Trust me, the water's gonna cool you all. Plus, I'll ask for the third or fourth row. Yeah, we'll the, see if that, if that uh, the trick works. Yeah, the legend is, the rumor is, third or fourth row you get less wet. Okay. Let's go try it. I'm gonna give that a shot. Since we're getting on the river ride, they do have lockers there, but since it's optional, there's a charge. You have to rent them. So, a Rick's trick, actually, this is Nikki's trick. Yeah, it's my trick. We went inside the Jurassic Outfitters and we got a bag to put the camera and her bag in. Yes, exactly. And my hat, because I think you can't wear a hat on the ride. Right, so. I don't think so. So that, yeah, that'll save us. Dry. Right, so that'll save us a locker rental. Yep. And you guys too, just throw your stuff in a little bigger bag here. Yep. And save a couple bucks. Yeah, and they're free. So might as well take advantage of it. Yeah, this isn't like England. You get bags free here. I <laughs> Yet the 
despite their awesome size, these gentle giants pose no threat to us. Next up on our tour is the Dinosaur Cove. Okay guys, we did it. Nikki did it. Third think, row. You didn't get too bad, did you, Nick? No, and I blocked my face with my <laughs> Yeah. I kinda cheated a little. Now the front of my shirt, let's see if I can get a shot of it. So the front of my shirt got a little wet, not too bad. We're not soaking wet, my shoes are still dry. Yeah. Uh, the trick of putting our bag inside a bag worked really well. Yeah, my bag's totally dry now. So highly recommend that if you don't want to rent a locker. Yeah. Just grab a bag from the outfitters. So, Nikki, we're already a little wet, and yeah. we're waiting for the cookies to be made. Should we go do some more water rides? That way it gives you time to dry off before the end of the day before we get in the car? Sure. Yeah. All right, so what, uh, you think Ripshaw Falls? That's where you get really, really wet. Yeah, but I don't think the other one's open yet. The other one doesn't open till 10, and we're kind of here early. I guess so. Hey, we I did a rock today, too. Oh, yeah, Nikki did so a rock. We need to drop that rock. Really Let's quick. check it out real fast. Okay, since we are kind of doing a Jurassic World, a Jurassic Park themed vlog, Nikki did squad goals with the four little raptors. Yep, the raptor squad goals. So awesome, Nikki. Yeah, you know you want to be part of this squad, don't you? So let's go ahead and hide this before we hop on another water ride, okay? Yes. Okay, here we go. Nikki's gonna hide this rock right here, and hopefully someone will see the clue on UO Rocks, the Facebook group UO Rocks Universal, and find the rock that Nikki's hiding. Okay, guys, now that we hit that rock, we just realized, Nikki, you never met Blue. You've no. done this encounter, yeah. but not with Blue. Exactly. Let's go hit it up real fast, yeah, okay? Yeah, totally want to do it. If you want to turn around and get ready, okay, perfect. Don't look in the eyes, she'll take you up to an alpha female. Oh. She has to be a predator in this uh, area. Velociraptors have a temperature ranging from 85 to 93 degrees Okay, Nikki, there you go. You just hey, met Blue. I did. She's such a beauty. She's a clever girl, too. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Very fun interactive uh, experience, right? Yes, I always love it, but yeah, that's the first time I got to meet Blue herself, so. Yeah, that's your first time with Blue, but they yes. always, they have always done a good job with that interaction. Totally. Yeah. yeah, from the handler to the raptor, everything is just perfect. Yeah, a must do when you're here, guys. Yes. Dr. Doom, check. Water ride, check. Meeting scary dinosaur, check. Oh my God, this is like a nightmare vlog for you. <laughs> You know how to make it better? What? Ripshaw Falls. Let's go straight to it. Okay. Okay, Nikki, as we get closer and closer to the falls, what were you saying? Everybody is soaked. This ride, you get completely soaked. There's no tricks to this, Nick. Oh. <laughs> Trust me, once you're going down those falls, you'll be smiling.
always gets his man, but not always his girl. Okay, guys, we just got off Ripstraw Falls. We're just sitting on a bench here watching the falls, watching the logs go down the falls. But what do you think of your ride, Nikki? Um, I didn't get as wet as I thought I was going to because, again, I had the bag, so I put the bag in oh. the hat in front of me. She and I sat behind a big guy. So. Well, here's, well, here's the thing. I just found out I'm too tall for the front seat and I'm too tall for the back seat because I tried to get in the back seat. Right, exactly. Yeah. He's like, I think like I'll get better footage if I'm in the back, <laughs> meaning getting me all splashed, but no. Nope. So here's the deal. I got pretty wet. And I'm wearing all cotton to stay on brand. Now, Nikki, you're wearing like kind of a material that maybe will dry better today, you think? Yeah, it's a dry fit. Okay. Yeah, the Nike so and, like the um, Under Armour. Yeah. Oh, so. so that was her strategy. She knew yeah. she was doing water rise, so she came prepared. <laughs> so I can dry faster. I had to stay on brand and wear the Hufflepuff shirt, so I'm going to be wet. But the good thing is, when you do these water rides, you stay cool for like at least a couple hours after you do them. I mean, if you get soaking wet, you'll stay cool for two or three hours for sure. You will. So. Unless you feel like you're walking around in a wet diaper. Nah, it's fine. Trust me. You stay cool. Now, since we're already wet, let's just go do, let's get it over with. Let's do, oh, uh. I can't hide in that one. Pluto's barges. I've been so lucky so far. <laughs> There's no way I can hide in that There's one. There's no hiding. But there is the luck of a draw. Sometimes of where you're sitting and how the ride's rotating depends on how wet you're going to get. Fingers crossed for me. But I do have to say your strategy of getting a bag and putting your bag inside the plastic bag. It's worked so far. Very smart. I'm glad I brought you. I never would have thought of that. <laughs> I'm going to give you full credit for that. That is a Nick's trick. Dude, Not a Rick's trick. So walking over to the barges, we just got notification the rock was found. Who found it, Nick? Virginia Mason. It's hey. the very first rock she's ever found. Oh, the first one ever? Good yeah. job. All yeah. right. She's really happy. Yeah, that's cool. So we just have a five minute wait, so Nikki's suffering won't be long. Okay, Nikki, the last water ride of the day. Anything you want to say to Michael? This you are not my friend. <laughs> Michael, you're my new best friend. Here we go! In the ear, right away. Montage starting right now with this waterfall, Nikki. It's coming right at you. It's coming right at you. Oh yeah! Oh, the luck of the draw. You picked the unlucky seat. Oh, in my case, very lucky. Oh, oh, you guys are so mean. We're getting shot by water up with guys. Free water cannons up here. Free water cannons. That was perfect. I told you guys, it's the luck of the draw. Or the unluck of the draw. The yes, I know. I've been lucky the view. whole stinking day with all the other rides. Not oh, these ones. You got it. So. Oh, here goes my Oh! oh. oh. I, I didn't even get wet. Oh, Normally that cannon shoots there. Oh, I'm going to hit the waterfall. Oh, Thank 
Jimmy. That's it? That's, that's pretty much it. We're done. Oh, no, we're done. Oh, yay! Okay, I'm just totally <laughs> sorry. That's all right. All right, that was a lot of fun, guys. Thanks, Michael. No. Okay, guys. I got completely soaked. Head to toe. Not a dry spot on me. Nikki got soaked as well. How was that, Nikki? Wet. Man, you were so lucky with getting all the big water on you. I know. I mean, seriously, I picked the worst spot on the boat. And I told her when we were sitting down, pick a lucky seat. How am I supposed to know? It all depends on your definition of lucky for this ride. I consider that lucky. We're going to be cool for the rest of the day. I'm going to be lucky for the rest of the day. Okay, now let's go see if we can get one of those cookies or cakes, the Jurassic World treats. I deserve it after everything I've been through today. You it's deserve dramatic. a treat. You do deserve a treat. Let's go right now. So the pizza place said they do not have the cookies today. They said that Thunder Falls have it, which is good because that's my favorite place to eat here. So let's go to Thunder Falls and see if we can get something to eat and those treats. Nikki is in the mood for, I think, pizza? Yeah. So she's going to go bring it over to our favorite sitting spot in Thunder Falls. Okay, guys. So here is my meal at Thunder Falls. If you've seen a previous video, you guys know I love the chicken, the ribs, and the corn on the cob here. I went with the beans and rice today instead of potatoes, but the real star today is the Jurassic World treats. Those are so stinking adorable. Oh my God. I know, right? So we have a cake here that is an egg that has the claw coming out, the dino claw. Then we have a green sugar cookie, which is a dino track. And then we have another sugar cookie with icing. Now it's got the old school logo on it, but it's got blue in honor of the Raptor Blue. And guys, as I've mentioned before, our favorite place to eat in Islands of Adventure is outside uh, Thunder Falls, where we can watch the ride come down, the Jurassic World, or the Jurassic Park River ride. Watch that come down. This is the best seat in the house. So this is the view we have from our dining table today. Okay, Nikki, which cookie do we want to start with? I think we'll start with the footprint. All right, let's Super start cute. with the dino track first. Yeah. Looks adorable. Okay, Nikki, what did you think of the first cookie, the Dino Track? It was good. Um, it's a little dry, so it's not like a really moist cookie. It's more of like, like, uh, like a shortbread cookie. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's okay. Um, it's a basic cookie. Yeah, I mean, it's not it, super sweet. Yeah, the theming is just cool on this one. The taste. Yeah. It's a basic cookie. Yeah. This is the cookie I really want to try. It's got some icing on it. As you can see, I took the first bite of that second cookie, the one that is in honor of blue and has the classic logo. Um, you don't need to see me biting into it. I think that's kind of gross. I know I'm going to get some hate from other vloggers who show them biting into food. That's just gross. I'm never going to do that. But let me tell you, the cookie is pretty good. I like the icing. I knew I would like this one better because of the icing. Okay, Nikki just took two bites of the cookie. <laughs> I didn't film it. You just gotta trust us, people. <laughs> How was it, Nick? It was really good. The icing is a bit sticky. It's um, oh, it is, yeah. Um, it's good though. I like that one better than the footprint, which I'm surprised about because I thought for sure I'd like the footprint better. I agree. But I do like the, the second one better. I agree with your assessment. Now, for what we really want to try, this Dino Egg Cake. It's so adorable! Gosh. I mean, you can't beat the theming. Now let's try the taste. Okay, Nikki, what did you think of the cake? I thought it was delicious. The um, icing was really good on that one. The claw? Yeah, the claw icing was really yeah. good. And then I've never had those pearls before. I know that like both Disney and Universal, like um, that's like a thing now with yeah, the their pearls. treats is to have those little pearls. And yeah. I enjoyed the little pearls because I, I didn't know what it was. Um, and the cake was moist. Yeah. yeah the it cake was really itself good. was really good. The bowl is lined in chocolate. Uh -huh. And the egg is a white chocolate. But, yeah, I don't know if they heard. I don't know if they heard me because the ride was coming down. But the egg itself is made of a white chocolate, very good white chocolate. Right, exactly. Yeah, I enjoyed the um, that one in particular. Yeah. yeah, that was my favorite. Was it? Yeah, the cake okay. was the favorite. So thank you to Christina for suggesting this. Good job, Christina. Yeah. 
Now this is just for a limited time. Right. They're only doing these during the summer. Okay, Nikki, we're done with our treats, but how did I get soaking wet? Oh, I don't know. Playing in the splash zone? That's like right. <laughs> well, I did a little time lapse, and I was like, I want to participate in it. You want to be in it this I time. I want to be in the time lapse, so I got... You were so cute. It's adorable. Soaking wet Again. front and back. Exactly. I'm not letting you in my car. <laughs> I'll be dry by then. No, you won't. We have to go over to studios and do a couple uh shout out. Yeah, a couple shout outs. So yeah. that'll give me time to dry. <laughs> okay, but, I hope so. But for now, let's go into Hogsmeade and check on the construction update of yeah. the new roller coaster. Yes, definitely. We had a request for that, so I'll put that on our Instagram. Yeah. Um uh, uh still shots of it. Alright, let's head over there now. Okay. So yeah, walking over to Hogsmeade, Nikki is laughing at how wet I am. Yeah, he keeps splashing me. Like his pants. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> hey, I've said it once, I'll say it again. I'm not a reporter. I'm a guy at a theme park having fun. I'll let the other people do the reporting. I'm having the fun. And with that being said, let me provide a report on the progress of the roller coaster. The maybe, irony of you. Maybe I am a reporter, I don't know. Anyway, the report is cranes, a bunch of big cranes. Let's check them out. There's one big crane. There's another big crane, and peeking through the little tunnel there is another crane. So, Nikki, according to my report, <laughs> my hard-hitting investigative reporting, there are three big cranes. You know what that makes that? It's the Tri-Crane Tournament. Now, while it's cool looking at these cranes from the ground, you know what's even better, Nikki? What? Looking at them from a helicopter. Oh, he is. That's right. So if you saw our 5,000 subscribers celebration, you saw we flew over this. So we're going to insert that footage right here. And I want you guys to notice how big the footprint is for this ride. I mean, the previous ride took up the whole footprint too. But when you compare the size of this one roller coaster area to the rest of Hogsmeade and the like Hogwarts Castle, yeah. it's huge. Yeah, it's big. That's awesome. And this ride is supposed to open next summer. Yeah, bigger's better. All right. They're, they're moving along on this. Heck yeah, man. Like I said, it's Harry Potter. They do not mess around. Spare no expense. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's Jurassic Park. It applies to Harry Potter, too. It does. So, yeah, in the queue to take Hogwarts Express over to the studios, you can see a lot of the track. It's so awesome. At least we know the color of the track. <laughs> brown. Okay, brown. Look, man, I am really reporting today. Yes, man, your reporting skills are amazing today. And I'm having fun. All right. Hey. I'm doing both. It's but anyway, uh, yeah, they're starting to lay the actual track. Pretty cool. Excellent. They're making really good progress. This should be ready next summer. Yes. So like 12 or 11 months from now, it'll be ready to go. And we'll be there. It's going to be so exciting. <laughs> so guys, I actually did a whole video where I described this ride in detail. It sounds pretty darn cool. Go check out the video. I'll leave some links to it uh, in the description below. And then probably I'll have a card pop up. in Universal Studios for one reason and one reason only and that's subscriber shout outs. Yeah! So if you want to know more about the subscriber shout outs, I have a frequently asked questions section of the welcome letter. So down in the description or in the comments, I'll have a little link for you to click on that, sign up for that welcome letter. Okay, it's time to share a Coke with a subscriber or two. Now if I don't get to you this week, be patient. I have a list of these things I'm trying to work my way through. First off, I'd like to share a Coke with Tyler, who actually had a birthday very recently. Happy birthday, Tyler! Yeah, happy birthday, Tyler. And then next up, staying in the tees, I guess, we have Tyson. Here's a Coke, Tyson. Thanks for subscribing. Well, congratulations, everyone. You've made it to the end of the video. And if you've made it this far, can I ask you to go a little bit further and click that subscribe button. Now, if you're already a subscriber, can you go a little further and click that bell notification icon? That really helps out the channel. And if you want to show a little more support, go ahead and buy us a cup of coffee on our coffee page. And with that being said, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rich Flicks, and now it's time to relax. But wait, that's not all. As we were leaving, walking through City Walk, they were playing the World Cup up on the big screens by the NBC Bar and Grill. Just as France won, check out the reaction. Yeah!